All right, I was gonna vlog today, but this is too funny. You weren't gonna vlog. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna. Show vlog. them your cheeks. What? Oh my god! What happened to me? <laughs> so, uh, Layla, Mimi's sister, got us a present last year on Christmas because she was in London uh, for both of us to get a massage. So the the thing was gonna expire in a few days. In a few days, and <laughs> and Mimi. And I think maybe you found uh, the certificate or the gift certificate while we were doing like the Marie Kondo tidying up. Yeah, 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 that's true. I and was cleaning up the, one of the drawers beside the bed and I found it. I was like, oh my god, we have to use this before it expires. Exactly. So, so today, it's busy. Lots of cars. So today was the day. That means like, alright, we gotta go use this coupon. Let's go for a massage. And Mimi knows I'm not really big on uh, other people massaging me. Because uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, I always feel weird when, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. That's me. Mimi a, loves massage. I love massage. Yeah, I, I find it like. Men, women, pets, <laughs> cats, dogs, they can all massage me. Exactly. I find it strange. Uh, so anyway, so we go to this place, Layla found it, had some good reviews, and then uh, me and I go in, supposedly we were supposed to have... Yeah, we were supposed to get... Oh, one second. London town. We were supposed to get a couple massages, yeah. and then I go to the washroom, I come I out, here. and I'm like stuck in a different room, yeah. with no Alex. I'm like, what happened to Alex? <laughs> exactly, so that, was, so, so that was the first surprise, was that... It, it, was, it wasn't a couple's massage anymore. It was a, it was a, si a solo massage, and it was it was like a Thai place. It was a legit Thai place. So some uh, uh, Thai ladies, and then uh, so anyway, so I'm like I don't know what to expect. I'm like <laughs> I have no clue. And when it when it starts, and what was it supposed to be in the massage? Acupressure or something? A deep I, uh, tissue acupressure, but deep. it was. It was their own special massage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and their own special. But it's a mix of like a, a mix of uh, soft tissue massage and deep tissue massage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. From what so, I understand. So basically, I have no clue. I'm in this dark, small room. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like this, there's like this. Uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed. There's like a like a what? pole on the wall. There was no pole in my room. No, there was like a pole high on the wall. I'm like, why is that? Why do they what have that? Pole? Like, like kind of like a railing, like, like a railing. No, like a railing, like a railing along the. I don't think I had it. Whatever. Anyway, there was like a railing against on the ceiling. I'm like, why is that? Why do they have that? <laughs> so, anyways, all this, and there's like little Thai lady. She comes in. Uh -huh. She's like, hi. So you here for a massage? I'm like, yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> so. Then I'm just like I'm facing down, and she gives us to work. And I'm like, oh my god, that's a lot of pressure. I'm like, I'm like, I'm surprised. I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm like, wow, she has a strong hand. And then, no, no. And then I realized she's like stepping on me, like properly, like over her feet, like her small, like you know, Thai feet. She's like stepping on, like on my feet. I'm like, oh. She got up on you. She got up on me. Wow. No, mine didn't. She sat up, sort of like massaging me, but she didn't stand up on me. No, no, she she properly, she properly was standing up big, on me. Big Alex. Yeah, like she was like on her like fours, like crawling on me and stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> like, I, think, I think this is quite normal. I know, I know, I don't, I know it is. I I think it's quite normal. I think it's just, it's just more my inexperience with massages. <laughs> And, <laughs> and especially this kind of massage, so I just found it very interesting. Especially she was like stepping my back and my butt. Did I'm you like, like it though? I, it was interesting. <laughs> then she, then after she began to like smooth out, but then she started like digging into my knots and stuff. Holy, like, I'm like she's a strong woman. Yeah, mine was strong too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, holy crap! I'm like, wow, I'm impressed. Like. Of the strength of, of this lady. So, anyways, so that's that's our day. I was gonna vlog today, but 
I thought is, is, is this you is already right? have the highlight. Over I already there. have the highlight. How about yours? How was yours? It was great. It's just I have a lot of knots in my shoulders, so she just focused on this area in my right shoulder. She's like, "You have so many knots. How did you do that?" I'm like, "I don't know. Help me." <laughs> no, she was great. Sweet. All right, let the day begin. <laughs> Fun fact, so you see that those two units, that's, that was our first ever uh, our first casa. casa in London, that's where we live. Right there. Yeah, those two. And they have a really nice terrace and you'd walk in and that door there. Where Mimi and I lived when we first came to London. We lived there for like three months or Two, I think in a month and a half, two months. It was like a short let. We rented it so that while we find our uh, first place right here on Old Brompton Road I and, love this and Exhibition, I think it's one of the best areas in London, uh, hands down, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> but I love living here, even on this busy road. Sometimes you wake up, there's like horses walking and buses going by. It was exciting. Never really felt bad about it. Cutest couple is ever. That's me. Don't be us when we're 120 out. <laughs> Cutie. That's right. As we drank deep from the light, as I felt melting magnets, babe. The second I saw you through half shut eyes, smoke and sunset. Stopped in, bought some socks for Mimi's mom. <laughs> she likes anything music related, so I know she's gonna she's gonna appreciate the gift. Why is there a dog on the street? It's crazy, it looks it's so real. You should go up close You don't want to say? I don't know what it's called. Huh? What do you mean you don't know what it's called? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, are you talking about? Well, we're going to the natural. I don't even know if it exists there. Yeah, so we're going to the natural history museum, and I have a story to Mimi. I said there's like uh, a insect house. An insect house where insects you can see them and stuff. And Mimi is really oh, into I like ants and like insects and things like that. I do everything. <laughs> Not just insects, I like all living creatures. Yeah, so we're gonna see if we can check them out. Say hi. <laughs> oh, we're matching shoes. Yes, we are. That's so cute. Because my feet are so much smaller than yours. Oh my god. It's like they got. <laughs> Natural History Museum looking for insects. So we'll see what we find. Beautiful museum though. I've been here before. Yeah, I know, but. Oh, look. Charles Darwin. You're a good looking fellow. humans do you know uh, I think the lesson really here is as you were saying that people Mimi had one comment which I really like she said that we we think like oh we have to go back to well people always say that 
oh yeah, we're gonna go back to the way things used to be when humans lived in balance with nature. Humans never lived in balance with nature. Like, look around the museum. Like, we killed all these species, we extincted most of the species, including the human species. Yeah, other, <laughs> the there's, other like, human species. Just saying. We like screwed up nature. Humans have never lived in balance with nature. If we're ever gonna live in balance with nature, it's gonna be now because we're finally becoming aware how we actually so interconnected and interdependent on nature. If there are no bees, if there are no elephants, if there are no birds, there will be no life for us either. Like, when is it gonna be enough? Exactly, know? so it's really... I mean, being here makes you really, really aware of that. Exactly, and I think like, like you're saying right now, it's really the time is now, it's not even before. We really have to think how we can now balance each other out with nature. Truth. You mean uncensored. And one more thing I want to mention, if you guys really want to find out more about just the history of human beings and how we've evolved, I highly recommend reading the book Read Sapiens. Sapiens. <laughs> Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari, one of the greatest books I read of last year. Um, it just really goes, it's exactly what It's you, like a trip to a museum. But, but but it's it's like a trip depth. to a museum but in more depth because it's exactly, as we were going around, I, I applaud the National History Museum for being honest mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, because like we as humans are glorified as you know we're these like gods of the world and we rule this planet we're just another animal exactly like the wildest one exactly. the most uh, <laughs> dangerous one i guess yeah you one can of the say. most dangerous so the ecosystem of the planet you know and it doesn't have to be this way yeah so sapiens is a great book uh like i said before saying anything read sapiens then talk all right Cat came. Hey Gaga. How hey, are you? Lady Gaga. Come here. Oh. Come here. She heard her name. I just forgot. Oh. Hey. Ah, hello. So you introduce us to your friend. My friend Lady Gaga. Hey Gaga, say hi. Say hi, look she's ah. coming. Say hi. She's the coolest cat ever. That's all I can say. Go, go. She likes to sit on top of Ferraris. And Austin Martins. Go, go. Hey, go, go. Right. So this book is extraordinary. It's called Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Uh, he's an incredible guy. This is a top five book. In my list and that's incredible because I listen or I read a lot of books and to make it my top five that's pretty incredible and I'll tell you guys right off the bat this book is life-changing